Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Roadveer Amla and this is me RJ Yoganand. On my Instagram story, I asked people a question. What should the next video be on? Is it Unique India series or something on nature? So 67% of the people answered that they wanted Unique India series. For those of you who do not know what is Unique India series, it is an initiative where I am trying to show unique places and unique temples in the country. So in the previous video we did see a very important temple in Karnataka which is Sri Koti Lingeshwara temple and here we are going to visit yet another unique and a very important temple in the southern part of India. This is the smallest temple in the world. When I say the smallest temple, the smallest temple through which a human can pass through, can get inside the temple and can come out of the temple. Another unique point about this temple is they do not practice idol worship. So what temple is this? Does a temple like this exist? So all of this will be revealed in this video. For you to know all of these, stay tuned till the end of the video. To reach this unique temple, you will have to take the Girivalam road. Once you reach Adiyanamalai, this temple is just 5 minutes away going on bike. This is a unique temple that I was talking about, Idukupilayar temple. It is a temple dedicated to Lord Ganesha. However, you will not find the deity in this temple. Initially, when this temple was constructed, it only had 4 towers. Later, the upper part of the temple was constructed and it is a popular place amongst devotees and kids who go on Girivala. Not just kids and youngsters, even elders are fond of this place and excited to crawl through the temple. It is said that the temple removes negativity from the person who passes through this temple and gives them prosperity. Nevertheless, we don't know when the temple was built and none of the localites were also aware of this information. If you know when this temple was built, please share it in the comments and also let me know if you have tried passing through this temple in the comment section. You all know that I am in Tiruvannam right now and uh, we are going to this place which is called as Kandashram and Virupaksha cave and this is on the hill of Arunachala or Tiruvannamalai is what we call right it's on the hill and we are not going to go to the peak to visit this place so we are going to trek it's going to be around 30 minutes from here the height of this hill is 2667 feet so as i told you before we are not going to the hilltop but we are going to go to a place which is in the middle of this hill and this is beautiful but again the problem is wherever you go wherever you go our people manage to litter the place so this is absolutely not okay and uh, I think as individuals we need to take responsibility and do something about it and I'm sure I'm you know we cannot go and start picking up things but at least we can avoid and stop littering <laughs>
सो आई टोल यू दैट देर इज अ केव य एंड वॉट इज अ मैटर विद दिस केव रमन महर ऋषि यूज टू कम टू दिस प्लेस एवरी डे फ्रॉम द आश्रम टू दिस केव एंड हिज मदर वॉज ऑल्सो हियर एंड हिंस इट इज कंसिडर्ड very special and a holy place because of which all the devotees and trekkers like to come and visit this place From my childhood, I've been visiting this place, but after two and a half, three years, after a long gap, I'm again doing this. So it's super exciting. so we did see skanda ashram but however virupaksha cave unfortunately was closed today because of which we were not able to cover that and uh, we were also not allowed to click pictures or record video in certain places in the ashram so whichever is possible i have covered it in the video and now we are going down to the futil post which we'll go have breakfast and then start for bangalore i hope you enjoyed this video with this we come to the end of this vlog and i'll catch you guys next week with yet another vlog until then this is rj yoganand signing off bye